Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's taken two thirds of the season, but the Green Bay Packers offense has finally begun to resemble the high efficiency, nearly unstoppable group from last season. Oh, what a couple of 30 point games will do for a team's outlook. The best part, according to Aaron Rodgers and company, is that they believe the last two games, including Sunday's 36-28 win over the Los Angeles Rams at Lambeau Field, should have been even more productive. This should have been a 40-point game for us, like we felt last week, should have been, Roger. We're just not clicking in the red zone. On Sunday, they converted only three of their five red zone trips into touchdowns. In last week's 34-31 loss at the Minnesota Vikings, they were 2 for 3. We had a couple opportunities with short fields on turnovers and only turned them into 6 points. That can't keep going. Their 55.3% red zone touchdown rate likely will be one of Coach Matt LaFleur's areas of focus during this week's bye, but in the last two weeks, the Packers have nearly matched their league-leading scoring average of 31.8 points per game from last season. Even throwing out Rasul Douglas' interception return for a touchdown against the Rams, the Packers' offense has accounted for 61 points over the last two games. While they have averaged just 23. One offensive points per game this season to rank tied for 15th in the NFL, their two-week average of 30. 5 ranks 5th in the NFL in that span. Every time we don't score on every drive, I think our guys are disappointed or angry or upset, Loeffler said. We've got a lot of great players. But this is a tough league, and when you're going against a tough opponent, realistically you're not going to score on every possession. So you gotta give them credit, and it's well deserved. The Rams weren't the NFL leading defense they were a year ago, but they had been stingy enough, allowing just 22. 7 points per game before Sunday.